some of my areas of expertise where I might be able to add value to ATSI through large public companies, research and education, and small to medium enterprises and start-ups, and how I can support the ATSI vision. So perhaps um, in terms of my journey, I studied uh, science and mathematics and I have a PhD in applied mathematics and statistics from the University of Newcastle. I was fortunate enough to be Australia's first Fulbright Scholar in business in 1993, so I had the opportunity to study business in New York and, uh, and have some work experience there that I wouldn't have otherwise had. And uh, in the 90s, I also did my company um, director's diploma and I'm a fellow of the Institute of Company Directors. I started my career in operations research, which is the application of mathematics uh, to business processes and operational processes to optimise, to model and optimise them. Um, and, but I moved fairly quickly into management roles and I've been involved in just about every um, function of management right up to the chief executive level. Uh, across a whole range of industries, particularly more heavy in engineering, um, infrastructure and building materials. Um, I now have a company <coughs> director portfolio. Uh, I'm a business angel. I was a founding fellow of the Australian Association of Angel Investors and I do some consulting and writing. So in terms of the large public companies, I've certainly had a few that I've been involved with over the years as a, an executive um, and a, a non-executive director. And through those, I've had the opportunity to have you know, some fairly extensive involvement in the area of process improvement through significant process mapping and understanding the modelling of processes and then optimising them through product enhancement, through new product development. I ran a new product development and research and development section uh, of a large building materials company. We mapped concept to market and found ways to actually halve the time frame of concept to market, which made a massive difference to our introduction of new products. I've been involved in a lot of areas of commercialisation and supply chain optimisation. Uh, Port Waratah Coal Services is the largest export coal loader in the world. And what we actually did was set up a separate planning team that treated from the mine all the way through to the ship like you'd treat um, a manufacturing operation and we optimised it. Optimised it across a whole range of different organisations that are all part of that. And we're considered the world's leading coal chain and we're used as an example of how to model and optimise your throughput um, in infrastructure such as this. So there's a lot of those areas and there's a lot of discipline that you learn out of bis big business that can help you um, improve the application of science and technology. As well as that, I've had quite an involvement in research and education. I only stepped down um, earlier this year in February as the deputy chairman of CSIRO and I was on that board for 10 years. It was wonderful to have um, Larry present first. Um, I'm the chairman of the Hunter Research Foundation, which is a regional research body in the Hunter. I've had lots of involvement with the institutes at the University of Newcastle. I was on the board for 10 years of the Australian Mathematics Trust, and they were responsible for the maths and science Olympiads and a lot of uh, maths, maths quizzes and works in that area. And I'm presently on the board of the Australian Mathematical Sciences Institute, which is had some um, significant uh, involvement in student and teacher en enrichment programs and of course the whole promotion of STEM, uh, recognising that mathematics is one of those core foundation subjects that you need for all of your STEM subjects. Um, I've had a lot of work through CSIRO in mission-directed multi multidisciplinary research so that you focus in on solving a specific uh, problem for a specific group. National research priorities, um, the science investment process, patent protection, and of course many enrichment programs. Um, as well as that, uh, over my career, I've had a lot to do with um, small to medium enterprises and start-up businesses. I've always been, I've been an angel investor for probably 25 years, um, made some money, Lost, lost a lot <laughs> as you go across the portfolio, but if you can get one out of 10, you're doing pretty well. Um, 
CSIRO, of course, in, in the time that I was a commercial director there, um, spun out quite a lot of companies, um, uh, you know, in terms of taking out their technology and then allowing people to go with that and take the risk and start up a, a business. Um, and I certainly had some significant involvement in that area. Um, the Hunter Angels Trust is a group that I'm part of where we invest um, in startups, particularly in the Hunter. The Hunter Founders Forum is a group to bring together people with inventors with ideas, with people that can help them. And as I said, I'm a founding fellow of the Australian Association of Angel Investors. And so over time, I've had a lot to do with um, technology commercialisation, um, patent protection, business case review, risk mitigation, grant development, and of course, um, a lot of startup and investment education programs. And um, the AAAI does a lot of work in uh, helping educate entrepreneurs about, and investors, about how to go about um, perhaps getting a little bit more success with their ideas. So I think with that portfolio of areas that I've been involved with, and looking at the vision for ATSI, I think that um, I can understand the ecosystem that's um, involved in um, using technological science as engineering and innovation to contribute to this country. And I think with my knowledge of that ecosystem and the different experiences that I've had, I think I could personally make a contribution. So thank you very much for the opportunity to be a member. Thank you.